it's so hot and it's a long walk to the regalia museum by the way that one is amazing is the current king So the sultan's name is actually his majesty Paduka Seri Baginda Sultan Haji Hasan Lal Bolkiya Moiseddin Fadawla Ibn Al Marhum Sultan Haji Omar Ali Saifuddin Sadr Khairi Wadi and Sultan and Yang Di Tar Tuan of Brunei Darussalam That's a very long name And this is the king's name and I think this one Omar Ali that's his father's name We are right now inside the Royal Regalia Museum. This museum was built to curate all the life history of the king, how his life was from his birth till now. It's beautifully shown. And there's also a lot of uh, gifts and artifacts that have been presented to the king and the royal family, which are apparently kept here. And one of the main things we are learning about is how this king, uh, as a prince, was exposed to all of yeah. these affairs of the kingdom from a very early age. and he was enrolled in schools not only here but also in malaysia where he studied for a long time and then went to the military academy in uh, in uk uh, and he even now holds one of those corporal titles from the uk army nay the throne of the king is called singhasana so similar to how we call it in india in india it's simhasana Arabian king Oh Bahrain What is this The great Angkor Wat What Angkor Wat This is his majesty's chariot We just finished walking around the museum. We could see so many gifts given by different countries, and they're all so unique and so nice to look at it also. But I think the country with the most number of gifts, uh, I think that award goes to Malaysia because yeah. wherever you see, like I, I would say that five out of ten gifts are from Malaysia. It's either from the Malay government, the Malay kings, the the communities, or even the companies there. And uh, we also learned that the uh, king has a the sultan here has a huge car collection. Like they say, it's valued in millions of dollars. Of course, we can't see it here in the museum. There were a few scale models though he kept. But yeah, that would be interesting to see. And we saw only one gift from India. <laughs> so I think India, if you're watching, you should definitely give more gifts and get on the bigger upper floor. <laughs> So Brunei is a monarchy. Even today, it's a monarchy. There is a single king, and the entire country is his uh, rule. And it was always like this. Like from the 16th century, it's been the same dynasty that's been ruling Brunei till today. Uh, all of them have the name Bolkiah in their uh, uh, in their princely names, and then and the current king is called uh, Sultan Haji Hassan Lal Bolkiah. And um, yeah, the the interesting thing about this is even though it's been a monarchy. Uh, you would assume that they were probably on their own but they were for a very long time under the british rule uh, because malaysia in this region was under british rule and this was part of the same larger british empire so until the 1960s they continued to be in british rule however after that uh, they did get independence but unlike the other countries in this region the, the independence struggle here was not really a struggle it was a mutual agreement a discussion between the monarchy and and uk for them to get independence on 1st january 1984 brunei got its complete independence from the united kingdom but even till today a lot of good relationships are retained with the british monarchy and also the british government including to some extent assistance in the defense forces uh, brunei also has a very good relationship with singapore wherein they exchange each other's uh, uh, military powers and capabilities because one has agreed to protect the other in case of need and of course brunei is a part of asean so all of the 10 countries come together in southeast asia and most likely timor leste will be joining it very soon as well well it was air conditioned and we spent yeah. i think one and a half hours it was a nice escape from the heat outside now we are back outside and it's so crazy it's hot and humid we stepped inside an oven <laughs> yeah but it's also lunch time so we have to go find some place to eat let's go
be found. What you are waiting for? Pizza. Why pizza? Because we tried to find some vegetarian food here and then we also wanted to sit for a long time in air conditioning and charge this thing. So we figured this would be the best place to do it. But after we ordered and picked out of the window, we did see that there's something very interesting across the street to eat. It looked like it was a mamak store, so we'll go and check that out later. We got an extremely tiny pizza. This pizza is smaller than my arm. Where is Navneet? Navneet, He's picking up his oregano and salt and pepper. Here he comes. The seasoning is bigger than the pizza. If you want regular ketchup, you can go take. vegetarian baklava. It looks like a vegetarian pizza for me. There's lots of veggies inside. It looks like they've stuffed it inside like a chapati or it looks like a dosa from outside. Oh, one order. You said one egg, one egg, one egg. No, no. It's just one egg. Thank you. Thank you. Really good. It's nice. Trying to catch a boat to go to Camp Hongayor. I think some boat came. What is it? Monkey. 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 Uh, well, we just wanted to say thank you for coming along with us. I'll see you day after. Bye. So today's bloopers brought to you by Shish. That's Yummy's Rice X Yogurt. That means Yummy Mosru Anna. Curd rice. <laughs> Yummy curd rice. Ole pakre, ole salmon, rajana salmon, they know it. Some Thank you. Hmm.